Hello guys. Um Yeah, so this is a kind of a voice reveal tutorial kind of. Some of you may know me if you've gone to my channel. I've made a lot of channels, you know. My first channel may be old lead seven thirty six. I do virtual machine stuff, emulate stuff. And you may know my other channel, which is a lot more popular, kind of, what no more subscribers named Recky. I think it's four five one, Recky four five one or Recky, just plain Recky. Uh so yeah, a voice reveal. And I haven't uploaded in a long time because my computer broke and it took like a long time for it to fix. That's why I haven't uploaded in nine months. Uh, because I also been recording on the Recky channel, so, yeah, <laughs> I last recorded, like, on the Recky channel three or four months ago, so it's been some time since I recorded a video, because I hate editing, so, yeah, it's just a little video, <laughs> yeah, so it's just a video, so I'm gonna show you how to install a, a PS1 emulator, to your computer, so you can play some PS1 games like Crash Bandicoot, Gran Turismo, stuff like that. So, first you want to do is go to epsxe.com, I'll leave all the stuff in the description. You want to go to Downloads, select your version, I'm on Windows, so EPSXE version 2.5, Linux, Mac OS, they even have it on Android. I think Android costs money, pretty sure. I don't know, but you just want to press this now it's, if if it doesn't work for you like that this is what you have to do you have to right click inspect now you'll see this www.epsxe.com slash files epsxe205.zip in fact i'll just leave this right here in the description so don't go to this website i'll just leave the version or if uh there's a new version out then go to the website i'll leave both of them in the description so you just want to click this. Now then you can um put it wherever you want. So you press save. Boom. Now we have that. And the thing you'll need to extract it is a uh, WinRAR or 7-zip. I use WinRAR personally. So you just press download WinRAR. I'm not going to install it. Just press download WinRAR. You get the point. And then you just go through the setup, and then if you have a 32-bit version of Windows, most of you won't, but if you do, you press that and then install it. So, then you have that. And then you're going to need the BIOS for the emulator. So, you'll, I made this uh, zip folder for, from Google Drive, scph1001.bin. It's going to be the BIOS folder. So... Yeah, that's what you do. So you just want to press this little button, download. Save it over here. I already have one, so I'm not going to install it. It's right there, you see it? So I'm not going to install it, but you you get it. And then, you want to extract it. So you go to your downloads. Sorry, I just installed OBS on the computer. I'm just going to delete that. So, you want to extract both of them, so you just extract to EPSXC205, and extract to SCPH1001. And then you have both of these folders, so I recommend opening a new downloads tab for this. So, you could drag the, the bias into the folder, so you're going to have this folder, and what you want to do, is you want to take your BIOS SCPH1001, you want to double click it, and then you'll see the file. Then you want to go into the BIOS folder in EPSXE, and then you want to delete the erase me file, and then you want to drag the SCPH1001 into the folder. So you could just honestly. You can just delete. You can just delete this, or uh, you don't even have to extract it. You could just go through here and 
put it in there like that. So, yeah. And then, you're going to have your, you have your BIOS in, so you're going to press epsxe.exe. You're going to have it. You're going to have everything here. So, first, we're going to um configure our, our controller. I'm using an Xbox controller. You can use a PS1 adapter, PS2, PS3, PS4, PS5, Xbox controller. I don't care. Whatever, whatever you want, really. So, you go to Game Pads, Port 1, Pad 1. And now I already have this set up, but usually it's gonna look like it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look like this. So you wanna press this XI input right here. And then you won't have to do it, it'll just take the buttons from your controller. So then press OK. You already have that set up. Now go to um video. Now I think it already saved it from my last one. So you can do full screen. I do full screen. You don't have to enable this. You can do window mode or full screen. Desktop resolution. Mine's 1920 by 1080, but select whatever resolution your monitor is or desktop resolution. <laughs> then window size. I just keep it default 800 times 600. Internal resolution. I have usually it's going to be normal. I keep this as times two. So it's normal resolution is normal. Resolution times two is in the middle, and resolution four is the last one. It's the slowest, kind of slow, and normal. So I keep that. That I keep that there, and then here, this should be default zero original brightness profile. Stretching mode. I keep mine um four by three because it gives you that look of the old game you can do widescreen or stretch i haven't tested both of those so widescreen i know will make your game st stretch out so i don't know what stretch really does open gl version 2 this should be automatically selected maybe if you have like not so good of a computer try open gl version 1 if it's not working uh threading mode i think this is default one thread accurate Show FPS display on startup. You can disable. You can enable that. Use FPS limit. I have that enabled. Screen filtering enabled. VSync I have enabled. Overscan I have enabled, and I think in 32 bit color I have enabled. And then you can copy if 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 your settings aren't like this, you can just copy it. Pause the video like that. If you didn't, if you weren't listening, <laughs> so you press OK. Now, I think, oh, so you want to go to BIOS. Now, you want to go where you put your BIOS. So, you would select where you put your BIOS. So, downloads, mine's in the downloads folder, wherever your, your emulator folder is. So, you press this, BIOS, you select the BIOS, and boom, okay. And then, you should be able to run a game now, I'm pretty sure. So, you want to... Yeah, you should be able to run a game. I'm pretty sure the memory card is normal because I got it when I was playing. It got a save, so you want to press Run ISO or CD-ROM. I don't know. I only have one game because I I just watched this. I watched a video from Casual Gamer. That's what he said his name was. I'll I'll leave a link to his tutorial, which is probably gonna be way better than mine, but. If you want to, you can stick around because it's just going to do the same thing. <laughs> so you want to press, uh, where was it? Okay, so this is where my games are. So you you can make a games folder in your, in the EPSXE folder, which I did. Games, and then you'll have your games. Sometimes they might come with a Q file, ISO file, or bin. I, I got Gran Turismo, it came in a bin file, so you just want to press this. Open. And then you'll see how it says standard right there. Now it will launch the game. You could play some PS1 games. Maybe in a different video I can show you where to get the games. I don't know if I'll be able to show you where to get the games. But yeah, so we're playing Grand Turismo. I suck. <laughs> so I uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I can get popular. So
why not? <laughs> now, it may take some time for the game to load. Some games may not work, but I know Gran Turismo does. <laughs> so, yeah. That's great. I think I should, right? Okay, whatever. It's for the YouTube channel. I Yeah, that's how you play your games on ESPX. I forget what it was called already. But that's how you play your games. And if you enjoyed the video, you don't have to subscribe. It will really appreciate to me. Like if you want to. You don't have to. I don't care. I only have one subscriber on this channel. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out and bye.